Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to I Am The Fifth Element. My name is Juan and Gemini's, you're up for mid-July 2022. Gemini, sun, moon, and rising, this is your mid-July read. All right guys, tapping into Gemini energy, I have a couple of notes. First thing I felt was super, super, super ill, like sick to my stomach. This is a sign, this is my sign that there is heavy energy manipulation heavy dark magic involved. So either you are doing the dark magic or you are on the receiving end of this dark magic. So sign of heavy envy, envy, super interesting. So envy attached. I was going to say sign of heavy energy manipulation. Then I was shown the magician reversed. So today is a sixth day. For numerology and the way you get the six is through one five vi vibration so one five is always devil energy for me so it's devil energy is anything that seeks to keep you bound it could be a toxic way of doing thinking being it could be codependency it could be addiction it could be anything that seeks to keep you stuck okay and so with a reverse magician this is the stuck energy. Somebody's stuck in manipulating energy, okay? Someone stuck on the dark side, heard loud and clear. And so for the ones that are in light energy, there is a serious need to shield your energy. Then I heard the twins, the lovers. I started this recording at 11 well, I set up at 11.11 and started at 11.16. I hit record at 11.16. So definitely about divine partnerships, strong zing. And the title I was given was Jumpin' Jack Flash. So as I got Jumpin' Jack Flash, this is an old movie with Whoopi Goldberg. And from what I remember and what I was made to remember, it's about a petty thief who gets herself way in over her head, okay? So somebody's stealing about a divine partnership and dark magic. So a whole bunch going on with Gemini energy. Our message is going to be something along those lines. So let's go ahead and get it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcome to you. Please Fill the space. I'm here to do an energetic read for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising for mid-July 2022. Using me as the channel, please give me a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Yep, going to be linked to my life. Now, I don't have, um, this is somebody that is opposing me in Gemini energy. Make no mistake about it. I'm going to always keep it funky, okay? So, um balance needing to balance this energy strong thing on it and today is a day of six vibrations so either journeying you to harmony or you're already in harmony but i feel getting ready to journey you there closing out cycles to get you to a harmonious vibration is the energy i feel three cards please to describe the energies that Geminis are in, and I just heard over under. So high, low, over under is a, a spread that my team has been doing. So you'll get the general energy or overall energy, and then you'll get what the light is doing in Gemini energy and what the dark is doing in Gemini energy. So let's get it. What's the overall energy for Geminis, sun, moon, and rising for July? Mid-July 2022. Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. Mid-July 2022. Yeah, some inner knowing. Thank you. Yep, as soon as I say that, I get the cards out. Yep, strong inner knowing. So, um, someone having a hard time doing, uh, being courageous is the energy I get. But needing to grow and balance your dualities is the energy I get. Yes, strong. Somebody is deeply in their dark side. When I tapped into energy and I get sick to my stomach, oh my God, there is no question about it. Somebody is doing dark magic, okay? So let's get our display. 
But doing this dark magic has you in dark energies. And if you're wanting to live in a viable timeline, you can't be in dark energy. Months ago, God literally took dark potential energy and put it, it's, it's secluded. It's in a clink clink. And the reason that God did that was so you could not affect his chosen. Okay. So needing to be courageous and get out of your darkness to grow. Okay. Here's our spread. Now we'll get cards from the universe has your back. Anything additional into this energy surrounding Gemini, sun, moon, and rising, mid-July 2022. Gemini energy, mid-July 2022. One card, please. Any additional insight? As soon as I said additional insight, I get two cards coming out, and they're both reversed. Yes. I knew it was dark energy I was tapping into, and my team continues to reiterate, yes, it's dark energy, okay? So, energy flows why, where my intention goes. So, this is someone trying to manipulate. They're, they just showed me a, a dark magician trying to craft something that they cannot craft. So, this is why it's reversed, because they're putting all of their energy and intent into doing some dark crud, but it is not materializing, nor will it. Heard loud and clear. Happiness is my birthright in the reverse. This is someone who is just nasty and ornery and mean and unhappy. Okay, it's reversed. Not understanding that God created this garden for everyone to enjoy. But because they're so entrenched in their darker tendencies, they cannot see this fact. Both of these cards are reversed. Look at the yellow in the card. So this is someone who's moving from their solar plexus, forcibly trying to force the universe to do what they want. Not going to happen. It's not how God operates. Unhappy in it. Okay? Why? Because your duality is off. You're not balanced. You are way, way, way on the dark side. Heard loud and clear. Time on the clock is 11.24. 11 is raised perspective. Does not apply here unless you're on the other side of this Gemini energy. So it's divine inspiration, synchronicity, and encouragement to keep going for those that are in the light. That was the phone. For those that were in the light that are in the light. Twos are about balanced partnerships and or alliances and fours are about stability, home, family, and foundation. So I feel this 1124 as 224 coding, which is a code of fresh starts for me. So if you're in the light, you are getting a fresh start. One card for navigating the energy in this spread. And I'm going to the um, mystical, excuse me, so maybe I need to go to the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. Mystical Shaman Oracle deck, Matt, Matt. I'm going to get one because this is the <laughs> enchanted map. This is the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. So red or blue peel. And I'm going to get a card for, for both because I feel this is seriously split energy. But the energy driving this read is in dark energy. And because I'm picking up on dark energy and as soon as I tapped into Gemini energy, I got sick. I'm going to say that the heavier energy for Geminis is in dark. Okay, so Earth Keeper, this is a mantle to take care of the earth. Card number 18 brings to a nine. Nines are about growth and expansion. And so what I was just shown is um, 44 vibration, which is super interesting. It's about integrity as a foundation, treating Gaia as home and temple and manifestation and leadership. So this treating Gaia as home and temple is what they showed me. And so someone who doesn't have reverence for Gaia, 
is the energy I get. And the way I feel it is that they don't have a healthy understanding of how the spiritual actually impacts Gaia. Okay. Super interesting. Yeah. Just, they just showed me somebody just throwing a whole bunch of magic at the wall and hoping that something sticks. Dark magic, let's be clear, okay? Dark magician, they keep saying it. Card for navigating the energy in this spread. What's this? The most helpful navigation tool for those in dark energy. Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. Mid-July 2022. Cannot make it up. It's about getting in higher perspective. The eagle is the bird that flies highest of all. And so with this height, they are able to see everything. Okay? And track their kill. Heard loud and clear. Eagle is card number 16. Breaks to a seven. Sevens are about journeying you to your higher self or your God self. So this is two like double raised vibration. You got seven vibration with the eagle. This is seriously raised perspective. Seriously raised energy. Master alchemist energy is what I feel. So this would definitely be the other side of that coin. Yes, absolutely. Needing to get to the beauty way. It comes in the upright. So let's read this card and use it as a foundational piece. Stability, home, foundation, and family for fours. At the top of the deck, what's first and foremost is fire. Setting a fire to that crud that you've been doing. Absolutely, it's time. Card number 19 breaks to a 10. Tens are for completions. You are burning away. Those things that no longer serve your highest good. Based on corn, a, pay, a phase of sustenance, abundance, no lack, plenty. Card number 10. So we have 10, 10 vibration needing to close out this cycle to completions. Burning away those things that no longer serve you get you to, get you to the corn but not before you get into the beauty way, heard loud and clear. So in the beauty way, the way I explain it is God's way. It's a beautiful way of emitting, a beautiful way of being, a beautiful way of showing up in God's light. Card number four. But before you get to this, you're needing to use the blade to cut away things that no longer serve you. So second zing on that. This is about uh, pruning. Cleaning up your emotional body. The essence, the beauty way is both the path that you travel on a day and on and a daily practice. I'll say it again. The beauty way is both a path that you travel on and a daily practice. The path is where you choose to perceive only beauty before you behind you and all around you as you journey through life. The practice where you take action to bring beauty to every situation you're in. When things get ugly, you act to bring integrity and peace to the difficult encounter. When everyone else perceives only darkness, you point out the light and help uncover the hidden treasures. The Invitation the beauty way invites you to create beauty in your life and to recognize the beauty inside yourself and in others. Stop to smell the roses, take a deep breath, look up at the stars and recognize the splendor that surrounds you. See the beauty in whatever situation you find yourself in and you will receive the lesson that life is teaching you in a kind and gentle way. The medicine, stop trying to fix relationships that you believe are broken. Recognize that things are exactly as they need to be in this moment and acknowledge the inherent beauty in that. When you understand this, you'll be able to bring about the change you want. Do not engage in gossip about the darkness and flaws of others. Be careful not to be seduced by the superficial beauty of a project or a relationship you are toying with, unless you are willing to pay a price for it later. Now, 
I got my download for my next read already, which is Aquarius. Aquarius, in that reading, it said that this person was inherently dark. So as I read inherent, they gave me that download. So this energy is directly related to an inherently dark Aquarius, okay? And I feel this as Aquarius sun sign. Super interesting. So needing to step into the beauty way expeditiously. So now let's get a card from the Enchanted Map Oracle deck. And this deck is the one that is wrapped in red. So red is for the root chakra. Rooted issues. Compass at the bottom. Card number... 50, five, zero. So fives are about change and or conflict and zero is God's source. So change and or conflict. And I feel this as, yeah, driven by God's source. What they show me is God with a book in front of someone's face, like forcing it, forcing them to look at themselves. Interesting. One card, navigating the energy in this spread, please. What's the most helpful card of advice for navigating the energy in this spread for those that are in root chakra energy? And I want to remind you that root chakra is the first chakra. So if you're moving from root energies, that's loneliness. So red deck is the one for um, darkness. Blue deck would be the one for light. Well, it makes sense that the beauty way came out. Okay. Learn something new every day, even I do. Yep, yep, yep. Here's our completion again. Card number 19 breaks to a 10. So here's this 10, 10, 10 that I saw days ago. And I felt it as 10 strong completions. This dragon's layer. Look at the card. Listen to the words or the name of the card. Somebody is in a situation. They <laughs> said, we have a situation. <laughs> and there is movement in this situation at the top of this deck. What's first and foremost is movement on the earth plane. Card number 28, another 10. So here are four 10s that we have. So yeah, definitely a completion. So um, this movement is bringing you, and I feel a forcible completion for those that are in reversed dark Gemini energy. One card, please, for those navigating the energy in the spread. It's the best card of advice for navigating the energy in the spread. Thank you. Comes out fast and furious and falls to the ground. And there are two of them. And they are both reversed. Yes, absolutely would be the dark energy. So wide open, closed off. Okay, and I feel this is closed off to doing anything other than what they've been doing. And they have have been... Strong arm in the universe for quite some time and unsuccessful at it, but they don't want to stop is the energy I get. 42 breaks to a six. Sixes are all about harmony or the journey too. And unwilling to ride the, ride the wave. And I feel this somebody whose emotions that are just completely off. And instead of um, getting to the bottom or the reason for their off feelings or emotions or... Um, Excuse me, that's exactly what it is. Um, I feel somebody who is just turbulent in self, okay? Card number 14 breaks to a five. Fives are all about change and or conflict. So unwilling to ride the wave, closed off, and in the dragon's lair, okay? Not in a good situation, okay? This is all darkness. So, <sighs> We're going to read the Dragon's Lair, card number 19, which is at the base of the deck. Yeah, you just, I just heard trying to craft something to your um, will that cannot. So, yeah, definitely strong arm, arm in the universe. And I was just shown the Dark Magician, okay, card number 19. The dragon's lair. 
you are always protected and divinely directed. Upright, you have a more remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. You're about to enter dangerous territory, so tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path you're on is one that will challenge you to the core. That said, peril is also exciting and exhilarating. Like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling to you, one that you will, excuse me, one that will test your courage. You can't make any of this up. Not a, none of it. The only card that comes reversed is courage. None of it. You can't make any of it up. You can run from the message, sure, but the messages are so succinct and concise around here, you can't run from them. You can try, heard loud and clear. A life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is, is calling for you, one that will test your courage. The choice is yours, but there is greater value in risk-taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be uncovered. Discovered is what they wrote. Uncovered is what I heard, okay? So, time to get out of your darkness, okay? And the longer you linger there, the stronger the pull by God is going to be. You always want to catch God on a whisper and not on a shout. This is your message, Gemini's mid-month for July. Gemini's sun, moon, and rising. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to like comment, and subscribe. Also, check the description box. You'll find additional helpful information about this read, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. It is time to get moving. Until next time, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.